So today for dinner, I saw these like dumpling muffin cup things on Instagram the other day. I will link it down below, but I gotta have it. So that's what I'm gonna try to make today. It's like a chicken, ginger, scallion, dumpling cup concoction. Got all my stuff ready. Love it. We can get started. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go. Into my bowl, some ground chicken. This is about a pound. In here, I want to put some cabbage, but I'm kind of like taking a shortcut because I didn't want to buy a whole head of cabbage. So I got some coleslaw mix, which has cabbage, carrots, red cabbage. So, you know, got all the stuff there. I think it's fine. Some of that in here. Uh, I feel like I should have probably chopped it a little bit. Whatever. We'll start with that. Green onions, bunch of chopped ginger, a couple of my frozen pucks of garlic, some sesame oil, some soy sauce, a little bit of salt, and some pepper. Clean hands, get in there. It smells really good if I, oh, oven's ready. If I felt the need to really go for it, we'll take a little piece like that, put it in a pan and fry it up and just taste for seasoning. Uh, but I feel as though I trust myself, we're fine. Our mixture is done. Just kidding, no it's not. I, I wanted to put some of this Japanese barbecue sauce in here. And now I'm gonna find a fork because I do not feel like getting my hands dirty again. Now we're good. Just got some wonton wrappers, just the, oh you can't see, so let's open it. Just the squares. And while I'm using these ones, I'm going to place them in damp paper towels because they will dry out. Muffin tin. Guess I'll spray it really well. Muffin tin seems a little big. Was she using mini muffin tins? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll double it up. Just in case. But you know, make a good cup. Now I just have my little ice cream scoop. This is a two tablespoon measure. I'm just gonna take some of the mixture, put it right in, give it a little flatten out, and assembly line it. All filled up. I've got a little bit left. I could probably get a few more out of it. These are gonna go into the oven for like 15, 20 minutes or until the chicken is completely cooked through 165 Fahrenheit internal. I'm interested to see if these wonton burn. Trial and error, let's go. <laughs> Into the oven. With the leftover wrappers and the leftover filling, I just like made little baby wontons. Gonna throw these in the freezer. Next time I want some wonton soup, these will come in clutch. Look at what we have here, little dumpling cups. They smell so good. Of course, I'm not going to enjoy cleaning this pan, but it might be worth it. I'm going to let these kind of just sit. These didn't singe too much, so that's good. Just let them sit, rest up, let them come together. You don't want to get into these right away. Like you'll burn your mouth off and you want those juices to kind of start to redistribute throughout the chicken. Ooh, they smell so good. I'm so excited. Ooh, they came out so cute. Give them like 10, 15 minutes or so. I'm hoping these will just pop out. Oh, and they do. Beautiful. Ooh. Nice and cooked on the bottom. Want to make a little sauce. Because now, oh shoot. Because now you can kind of top them however you want to. I'm of course a baby and I can't take heat. So I'm not going with like a chili oil, but like go for it if you want to. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of some soy sauce with that Japanese barbecue sauce and a little touch more sesame oil. Kind of drizzle everything on top here. I love dumplings, wontons, egg rolls, anything. Delicious. And top with some green onion that I had saved. Perfection. Those look so good. Now I need to try one without like absolutely annihilating the roof of my mouth with these things because they're toasty. Mm-hmm. These are 
are so good. Perfect little meal, snack, side, whatever you want to do. A crunch and so easy. You've got to make these. Enjoy.